Hi, let's start with databases, file and data warehousing. And to start, let's see what is a file and what different file types we have. So a file collects data and it's stored on disk. And in order to know where it is and find it, files have a file name. And these file names have extensions that you might have seen. It depends on the program that created it. And it depends on the type of data that is stored in the file. Yeah? So we know which, which program we can open it. So in the early days, we had MS-DOS. And the convention was 8.3. Eight characters for the name and three characters for the extension. Like for example, resume.doc. Less than eight characters and three, one, three letters for the extensions. Nowadays, we can have file names up to 255 characters and we can make them really long. So, file paths you might have seen are these paths that specify where the file is located on your computer. And how it looks like depends a little bit on the operating system. So, here we see the, there's some three examples for Linux like, uh, MS DOS like, and Windows like operating systems. It's just to give you a feel on how it looks like. And if you come across it, you know what it is. It's a file path. It indicates where the file is located on your computer. So there's basically two types of files. There's text files and binary files. Let's start looking at text files and we'll leave binary files for the next part. So a text file is structured as a sequence of lines and it's human readable and it's platform independent. And the type of context it can contain are plain text or maybe a little bit richer text that is like um, lim limited with uh, um, mark data or markup uh, tags. It's plain text as, so as long as it's human readable. So examples of text files and their name extensions you can see here. For example, .txt. This is for plain text. Richer text includes HTML for the hypertext markup language, XML for the extended markup language, EML, for example, that's being used for email messages. You can have extension CCP that is used if you have a C++ program. .vb is mostly used if you program Visual Basic. .java is obviously used if you uh, program Java programs. And then there's this thing .bak, bug, which is like a backup file made by an application, which is true for many applications. And we have um, comma separated values, which is CSV files. And these are text files that can um, define tables, separating them by commas. Here's an example. This is a plain text file that defines the table that you see below. So the values are separated by commas. Here you see the header, year, make, model, description and price, and it's all separated by commas. And then we know that this is the first row in this table. And here you see the different rows that contain values. It's uh, 9097 Ford, which has this model. The description is that it's probably been to the moon <laughs> and the price is $3,000. And here you see the other two rows. So this is an example of a data file that represents a table, but is a plain text file. In the next part, we'll look at binary files.